up radar missiles in the air-to-air -air arena is universally recognized. General Dynamics, supported by Westinghouse radar systems and Raytheon missile systems, initiated AIM-7 radar missile integration studies for the F-16 early in 1975. Over 400 hours of wind tunnel tests were conducted, including test runs for flutter, performance, and separation characteristics. This data indicated that AIM-7 Sparrow missiles were compatible with the F-16 when carried on both wing and fuselage stations. Utilizing the prototype philosophy that has been so successful on the F-16 program, two Sparrow carriage configurations were selected for flight tests. The F-16 fuselage main landing gear doors and wing pylon stations two and six. Design, fabrication, assembly, and installation of the modified doors were accomplished on the number two prototype F-16 at General Dynamics Fort Worth. Ground tests were conducted to ensure proper gear operation, verify ballistic separation characteristics, and accomplish weapon loading demonstrations. With these tests successfully completed, Flight tests on the YF-16 were conducted at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Captive flight demonstrations of both configurations were flown in the combat arena, including accelerations to Mach 1.6 at 30, 35, and 50,000 feet, maneuvers up to 5.5 Gs, sustained turns from Mach 0.9 to Mach 1.6, angles of attack up to 20 degrees, flight through external 370-gallon tanks, and aerial refueling. With captive demonstrations successfully completed, General Dynamics was ready to verify separation characteristics. The fuselage station was selected because it represented the most significant technical challenge for a dynamic launch. The first successful launch of a fuselage-mounted AIM-7 Sparrow occurred at the China Lake, California test facility on 6 October, 1977. The YF-16 was flying at 0.9 Mach at 18,000 feet. A second fuselage missile was launched at Mach 1.05 at 17,600 feet. These separation tests resulted in a very clean separation with no missile roll or yaw tendency. With the successful completion of these tests, General Dynamics has demonstrated AIM-7 launch capability from the F-16. The U.S. Air Force currently does not plan to equip its F-16s with Sparrows. However, growth provisions have been included for the possible addition of an advanced radar missile at some future date. The integration required for AIM-7 is simple. The fire control radar is unchanged. All that is required for AIM-7 capability is addition of a continuous wave illuminator and necessary wave guides and filters for the F-16 radar, addition of existing attack steering and launch zone computation algorithms to the fire control computer software, switching logic software for the store's management set, and remote interface units and tuning antennas. The concept is developed and well documented. With two sparrows, two sidewinders, and two 370 gallon tanks, the F-16 can perform an intercept mission at a radius of over 1,000 miles, formidable by any measurement. With radar missiles, the F-16 offers an affordable and readily available means of extending the existing multi-role capability of the aircraft and provides a unique total force weapon system to the using air. A most important feature in today's defense environment that emphasizes flexibility.